We want to start by loading up the reference image. I tweaked uh, the position slightly. You can then add an eight vertex circle, rotate it on the X axis by 90 degrees, separate the two halves, bring up the left half by two units, uh, merge the double vertices, and then start getting rid of those midpoints uh, and also the lowest vertex. You'll then duplicate the one right next to it, bring it up by four units and merge so as to obtain the sort of inverted P shape. I then scaled it down so it would be 0.5 units high as this would fit nicely with my reference image. You can then start by adding a screw modifier. I used eight steps, but you may want to use 16, 0.5 the screw distance and the five iterations. I then further tweaked the position of the vertices so it would fit nicely with the subsurf applied. You can then start saving your work, uh, duplicate the object just to be sure in case you want to go back later, uh, start merging the double vertices and recalculate the normals. I then went on and deleted the lowest three faces, actually the vertices of the lowest three faces. And then since the screw is uh, slowly fading out towards the end, I started uh, moving the vertices uh, in progressively over about half a turn. Next, you can fill in the uh, remaining holes. As you see, we're left with four vertices, which is a good number to have. You always want to try and have four sided faces. You can also uh, smooth a little bit some of those vertices to ease the transition then scale everything down to zero on the uh, Z axis and do the same on the top part. I jumped uh, a small part here, but it's basically the same procedure. The only difference being that you'll be uh, taking the inner vertices towards the outer edge. You can then again smooth uh, a couple vertices a little bit and I further Increase the speed of the video here as it's mostly extrusions and insertions of edge loops from now on. Uh, you want to try and be faithful to the image and add some extra loops where you see that some transitions are happening. Here we're seeing the final steps. I created the upper lip and uh, tweaked the position, added a couple edge loops, and we're done. Uh, in the next part, I'll start working on the inner glass pieces. So thanks for watching and see you on part two.